So for those of you who have just joining the video at this point, welcome to you all. I'm using the African Animal Messages um, Oracle Cards this week and we're going to be doing the, uh, the weekly Oracle Card Guidance. And what I'm going to be doing, uh, these, this is the box that it comes in, and it comes with a little booklet. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, reading the card psychically, clairvoyantly, as I usually do, and I'm going to read something from the booklet because perhaps there's something in here as well that you would resonate with or you'd be interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. Please choose an option between one, two, and three. So we, I'm going to begin with option number one. Okay, so what we have for option number one is the card visibility. So the card is number 16. For those of you who've chosen option number one, the card is 16 and the card is called visibility. I think the card talks right now about the lack of visibility. I think it talks about how you may, might be wanting to see something, but it might be difficult to see it. You might be wanting to know when something is going to take place or when or how it's going to take place. You might be wanting to see where it goes or how it, how it goes forth but it's it's difficult to see it and I think the message here for me and I look at this card is that it's really not about how it will fall fall like how the bones will fall how the cards will fall it's not about that it's about you creating your own um, manifestation you creating your future you creating what happens for you so it's almost like this card for me is saying, well, you know what, stop concentrating so much on visibility. Stop making that be your downfall or making that be the thing that you rely on, but rather manifest how you, what you want the outcome to be. So it's almost like an internal visibility. You go inward in your mind's eye. You are thinking about how it is. You're visualizing how it will turn out and how it will uh, uh, be... Um, relevant to you and how it, how you will make it happen. So I'll, let me give you an example. Let's just say you want something to happen, you're hoping that it'll happen, but you're not really sure if it will or not. The idea is just to think about, okay, like if it happens, it's I want it to happen in this way and say when you want it to happen, how you would like it to happen and how you, you what is the best way in which it can happen? And then just stop thinking about it after that. Just visualize it, create a visibility for it in your mind's eye, and then let it go, okay? Because watching it too closely at this moment is going to cause you to find that you don't, you're not able to, um, to access what you need to. You're going to be watching it too closely. You're going to be pushing it away from you. I think also this card is this visibility it's almost like um, this is another energy that I'm getting in here that you might be quite excited about something. You might be looking forward to something, but there's a naivety in that. And you might be expecting something, but you're going to be receiving something else. So there's this, there's a couple of messages in here, but I feel like um, don't let your visibility be clouded by your anxiousness is, is the message in here. I'm going to go ahead and read what the card, what the book says for those of you who are interested. If you're not, you can skip this part. So this is, by the way, a black Kohan. I was recently in a, in a, on a holiday in Namibia, well, over the holidays, over the, the, the December and January period, and I saw tons of these black Kohans <laughs> there. Uh, I've never seen them in South Africa, uh, where I am right now. Um, perhaps they, they are here, but I've, I've never seen them here. Um, so this is uh, this is interesting. This card, for me to see this card, yes, this card 
is black kohan and I'm going to read it. It says the kohan family of birds appear all over the country. Some in green areas and some are well adapted to drier areas. They are ground birds and forage for insects and seeds on the ground. Hence the female colouring is much the same as the grass as this affords good camouflage. The exception to the rule is the male kohan, especially in the mating season. When you are quietly walking in the felt and the sounds of insects are audible because the silence is so vast, you are stopped in your tracks when the male black kohan announces his presence from an anthill ne nearby. This brightly coloured bird is very visible in the muted toned surroundings that it inhabits. That he inhabits. His voice is strident in the qu quite sun-baked air. Then you are treated to a magnificent aerial display of colour and sound as he soars up into the sky to proclaim its territory. The female koan, unaided by the male, selects a nesting place far from his noisy territory where she incubates her eggs and rears her chicks. The message. If you draw this card, be aware that visibility is often necessary for some people to achieve what they ha have set out to do in this life. Talents are there to be shared with all and they can bring joy to others. As the male kohan flies high into the sky, let his clarity stimulate your feeling of inner spaciousness. As he sees the, sorry, that's the school nearby, that um, the siren going off for the kids. As he sees the endless stretch of land and his boundaries disappear, so too can we fly in our minds and allow visibility from our inner eye to help us see where we can go in our lives. The vision is endless. So this this meaning corroborates what I've said, which is, um, which is basically that you know it's this in, inner visibility that you need to have. But I feel there's some as I was reading this, I was thinking that you know perhaps you need to be seen in some way. Perhaps there's some. Like there's an external scene in which you need to be able to put yourself forth for other people to see you right now in order for you to access um, some opportunities or something like this. So one other meaning I would, I, I don't know, I just, I don't really feel this, but I'm, but I got this message while I was um, seeing this is that maybe you need actually to revisit your social media um profiles and update them that could be something that is required uh, from you at this moment and that could be something that would would help you All right so anyhow I'm going to leave it there I hope that message has helped you and I wish you all a very blessed uh, time ahead many blessings to you all bye for now and for those of you who have chosen option number two uh, we're using the African uh, animal messages here. And we're asking, what is your oracle card guidance? And the card we have is opportunist. So I feel that this card is uh, the number 18, which is for you people who have chosen the option number two. It, it's opportunist and it really is about being able to take advantage of, of the opportunities that are, are coming by right now. I think also that you need to think out of the box. You know, if you're a fox and you are on the ground and you're thinking about what opportunities you have and you think that the only opportunities you have uh, on the ground, then you are actually not really paying attention. That's the message I'm getting for you. It's like here, yeah, it's saying to me that you should think as if you were an eagle. You should think as if you were a greater beast who, <laughs> who I know that doesn't sound right, but you should think as if you are, uh, you have different capabilities, uh, you have different uh, cap um, skills, you have different capacities and you should think outside of the box and be able to grasp onto 
certain opportunities because right now there might be many opportunities coming up for you which you might not have noticed uh, previously and I feel like this card the opportunist is really telling you to step out of your comfort zone to be able to access these opportunities now of course you don't have to if you're comfortable and if you're happy in your life you don't have to step out of your comfort zone you can actually enjoy what it is that you want if you are however desiring of change if you desire uh, something completely different from you, for your life and if you are up for the challenge and the adventure that it requires then go ahead and step out of your comfort zone and grasp something that is out of your reach because I feel here that opportunities are going to avail themselves and there's going to be something that you might think is out of your reach but it isn't and you will get it so do that job application that you've been wondering whether you should do it or not or make that phone call that you've been thinking about making that will put you into touch with people that you think um, will perhaps finance whatever project you're doing um, or look at how it is that you can actually move ahead at this moment all right perhaps it me you need to expand whatever you're doing perhaps you need to create something that you um, that you do already as a, as a hobby into a business perhaps there's there's opportunities available right now for you to be able to create things and do things that you might have thought were not possible before I'm just going to go ahead and read from the book to see what it says number 18 is the animal it's called the jackal the opportunist at sunset the familiar howls of the jackal fill the night as these small animals awake to search for food. The jackal is a small, cunning carnivore that will take advantage of any situation. They are regularly found at a larger carnivore's kill where they scratch for any morsel. They also eat small mammals, birds or eggs, insects, reptiles and any leftover remains that they find. It is said that the jackal will survive when all other wildlife is gone as they take any opportunity to find food. The jackal makes its home in the ground and sometimes digging its own burrow, but mostly, however, it will already find already it will find an already dug hole or one that has been created by a fallen tree. Jackals mate for life. The female chases all other away all other females and the male all other males. Although not pack animals, they do have home ranges that they will mark, but they will not defend. A wily opp opportunist that is always alert. The jackal has been seen to take advantage of a bathing vulture whose feathers are still wet. Killing the bird under these circumstances allows the smaller jackal to feed on a bigger prey. Under normal conditions, the vultures are chased away from the kill by the, by the tenacious jackal. The message. Learn from the wisdom of the jackal and take every opportunity that comes your way. He who hesitates loses out on a meal. If you don't take a chance to get what you want in life, you may never get the chance again. Have faith in your ability because you can do anything if you put your mind to it, like the little jackal eating the huge and powerful vulture. Be aware and tune in to life around you. You may be surprised to find that the smallest, most insignificant happening a person in your life at this time is bringing you a message of importance for your well-being or for your future development all right so i'm going to leave it there i definitely think it's a time to break out of your comfort zone to be able to access opportunities that are fleeting that are just there at this moment and they may not present themselves in the future all right you need to act now as far as this card is concerned and act quickly as well all right i'm going to leave it there and i'm wishing you a very blessed time so for those of you who've chosen the option number three we asking what is your oracle card guidance and we have the card number 42 and it's perseverance I feel that uh, you might be in the middle of something. You might be trying to do something for a very long time, but things have kind of slowed down. They're not moving ahead as you expect them to move ahead. And 
I feel here that this card is just telling you to stay with with it. That even if, if you're thinking of just giving up and moving away, that it's the wrong decision. You actually just need to stick with this right now and stick through this and to be able to come out the other side. And sometimes it's going to be boring. Sometimes it's not going to resonate. Sometimes it's going to feel like you just need to be somewhere else but not doing this. And I feel that regardless, you should just stick it through, stick through it and see what comes from it um, before you give it up and try something new. Stick to whatever you're doing right now because you're going to find that in the future you're going to have some uh, benefit from it, some advantage of it. And you might have found that you've learned something from it that you would not have learned pre uh, previously. I think also here that... Um, a certain degree of tenaciousness is required to be able to persevere, to be able to sit and stay on your path. And um, you need to fight for that. You need to actually fight for what it is that you want to do. And I think the, the card here is really about persevering along the path that you have been going already. So you might want to make some changes. You might want to upgrade certain things or, or do certain things differently, uh, market yourself differently or upgrade your website or do something like this but you should stick on this path it is a path that requires you to stick on it all right i'm going to go ahead and read from the book briefly so number 42 is the dung beetle the card is perseverance it is an interesting exercise to stop in your path and watch the antics of the dung beetle as he seems to perform amazing feats with a huge ball of dung the ball that he is collecting is eventually not enormous often 10 times his size, and yet he can still manage to roll it to his hole and bury it. This is the epitome of perseverance. This busy, hard-working beetle spends all its time making balls from the animal dung that it navigates to a hole in the ground where it lays eggs in the dung to protect and feed the larva while they grow. The new generation will surface after they've pupated. The amazing part is that while they're laboring away, they are also planting the seeds that are in the dung. The seeds thus have fertilized and will grow in the soil. The dung beetle is performing a twofold act for nature, preserving its own species and planting the seeds for further growth of plants for, un for other animals to eat. If you watch these hard-working beetles, you will see that no matter how what large stone or bush blocks their way, they will persevere until they've got past the obstacle with their ball of dung. Some types of dung beetles place the dung on top of the burrow and then proceed to take the pieces of dung down the tunnels to a deeper hole in which to lay their eggs. The, this plants the seeds in the dung even deeper. The message, the, the message of perseverance comes to you from this amazing dung beetle. Do not give up in the face of what might feel like an insurmountable obstacle. By taking a slightly different route, you can get around anything provided you just persevere. If you feel you're pushing yourself too hard, just envisage the end result of your endeavors and you will find that it will be worth the perseverance. The results of planting the dung and promoting life in nature is a message to us that we are also responsible for refurbishing our planet. All right. So I think here that, um, you know, sometimes it feels like whatever you're doing is pointless or it just feels like repetitive and you're not really sure about it. But I think just persevere with it because sometimes... It's not always going to be exciting. It's not always going to be, um, you know, where people are applauding you or doing or, or talking to you about how wonderful it is that what you're doing. I think here you might be in that phase of the li your life where you're not getting the recognition that you require or the uh, or the perseverance. I mean, sorry, or the appreciation that you require to persevere. But I think just stick with it, and you're going to find that something good comes out of it anyway. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that that has been a useful message and I wish you all a very blessed time ahead. Stay well, stay healthy, stay safe. And I'm thinking about you all. Drop me a message in the comment section and stay blessed. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.